na 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 ba na 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 da na 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 Yo, yo, welcome to Sister Punk Studios. I'm Keisha, and if you'd like to hear me talk about anime, or if you want to check out my music exclusives and vlogs, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week. For this anime review, I'm reliving the wild and colorful nostalgia of an often underrated anime, with potential to be a timeless international cult classic. This is Space Dandy. Space Dandy is a dandy guy in space. He combs the galaxy like his pompadour on the hunt for aliens. Planet after planet he searches, discovering bizarre new creatures, both friendly and not. These are the spectacular adventures of Space Dandy and his brave space crew in space. The universe is a mysterious and strange place, filled with stranger and even more mysterious alien life. Dandy's job is to hunt down unclassified alien species, to get them registered, and to get a reward. It sounds easy enough, but something weird always happens along the way. Like chance meetings with mystical ramen chefs, alternate zombie timelines, adorable alien orphans, and puppies. Space Dandy reunites a number of lead production staff from the iconic anime Cowboy Bebop, including producer Masahiko Minami and my favorite director Shinichiro Watanabe, who had a mission to destroy the current norm of anime by combining styles from acclaimed animators and collecting each episodic adventure into an epic galactic journey. Our gang of space hunters are a quirky bunch of outcasts but they're unapologetically true to themselves, allowing the characters' pre-development and even random interactions to be a reflection of their personality in every dimension. We have our space bum space dandy, who could come off as a total dipshit with a shred of genius, but he is actually the captain of his compact Hawaiian-themed spaceship, the Aloha Oe. And Dandy's attitude is always simply dandy. He's a bit of a pervy goofball, but has this hard-boiled never-say-never optimism that gets Dandy and his crew in a lot of near-death and sometimes actually fatal situations. Dandy is paired up with QT, an outdated robot assistant that also pairs as a vacuum cleaner. QT boasts being more intelligent and competent than their fellow crewmates, but their usefulness is counteracted by problems caused by outdated hardware. But I can't hate on QT because they've gotten Dandy and the crew out of a huge mess more than once. We also have the newest addition to the Aloha crew, Meow a dim-witted, cat-like, Beetlejuicean alien who was brought aboard the ship after Dandy and QT mistake Meow for a new alien species. But surprise, surprise, Meow is just a space cat version of a shut-in couch potato slaw, who at least lends a hand or two in helping Dandy go in the right direction to potentially find new species. Geez, in writing, these guys kind of sound like total losers. <laughs> But the actual experience of every adventure allow them to turn into the most relatable and likable characters as they interact with the universe and reveal multiple layers to their persona. Even though every episode seems to start again as if nothing ever happened, we as the viewers learn more about our main characters and how they react through a continuous narrative. And this makes it even more impactful when they actually exhibit growth in new dimensions and get into that dandy spirit. And and we get some unforgettable one-shot stories throughout the adventures of Space Dandy, with random characters and whole new worlds that are fully developed in every single one of these episodes, along with some reoccurring faces, like our very inconsequential villain, Dr. Gel, a dapper gorilla madman, and his BDSM gag ball Statue of Liberty evil space fortress, and our obligatory best girl slash eye candy, Honey, who is a bubbly waitress at the local local restaurant named Boobies. <laughs> this is one of those parts that I really think might have been a miss. 
Like, it's very clearly a spin-off of Hooters, but it's still Dandy's favorite place to unwind after a usually failed mission. Although Dandy makes it clear, he prefers booty over boobies. I can't believe I said that. But there are still so many magical, tear-jerking, and thought-provoking moments that happen throughout the goofy shenanigans. With euphoric and explosively colorful animation, and a hyper-diverse universe of weird species, creatures, and personalities. With a huge range of comedy that goes from Monty Python vibes to slapstick to smartly dry humor. It's clear that there was tons of outsourced inspiration for the creation of Space Dandy. From dozens of iconic Western media like Star Trek, Star Wars, E.T., the Alien movies, and at some point, High School Musical. Okay, I think that might have been a miss too. That was a miss. I think that was a miss. Like, I think you could skip that episode. But the most important inspiration for Space Dandy is Cowboy Bebop and the original Space Cowboy himself, Spike. But sadly, I think this is the part that turned quite a few off from Space Dandy. A lot of expectations were placed on this alleged protege of an iconic film. Cowboy Bebop is one of the highest awarded anime of international fame, with heavy Western influence and a high reception that's turned into a cult following in the last years. But Space Dandy, at first glance, kind of seems like a cheap American parody of Cowboy Bebop. What was revolutionary, but was also probably a miscalculation with the debut of Space Dandy, was releasing it with an English dub in America on Adult Swim before Japan even got the original dub. And even though the English voiceover was of amazing quality, I think a lot of Western anime viewers were turned off by how it was watered down and marketed, and lost a lot of depth behind its really goofy trailers. Another unexpected turnout was how much of the dry humor would go over most of the viewers' heads, especially if they're not used to anime or this style of humor even if the English translation still tried to tailor its humor for American viewers. And one of the most unfortunate occurrences that left Space Dandy behind in the anime race was actually its episodic nature itself, which was essentially also part of a continuous plot. We realize at the end of the first episode of the series, and this is a spoiler, but not really, so prepare yourself. The entire main cast dies. But of course, the next episode preview goes on like nothing happened and pretty much proves that anything can go on in Space Dandy. But for some, it ended up feeling like a lot of the dramatic action and life-threatening dangers were all pointless. If Dandy and his companions are empowered by this magical reset button through this interdimensional thread of fate, there can be no real threats or lasting consequences. Well, that's where they're wrong and not very dandy either. In fact, these direct confrontations with death allow each standalone plot to reach a true end. There is very rarely a great escape for all of our problems, but Dandy and his crew literally risk their lives every episode to find new truths about their world and universe. If they just backed out of every adventure to live to another episode, we'd never know the greatness of every moment and be completely immersed in every comedy, tragedy, and otherworldly phenomenon that injects the viewer into this journey to put together the infinite possibilities that forms the structures and experiences of our characters. A simple message that Space Dandy has to offer is just go with the flow, baby. And that's why I think even though it feels like it's been forgotten, for those like me and many who are able to go on this space adventure, this experience was timeless even for the creators of Space Dandy. The leaps they took while experimenting with animation and storytelling was a liberating opportunity that continues to inspire future works. Space Dandy is a series that I'm glad to get back to with my own testimony of its awesomeness. Perfect for seasoned anime lovers and new viewers. Thanks for watching my dandy review on Space Dandy. Remember to like and subscribe for new weekly videos at Sista Punk Studios. I'll see you next time. Peace. Bitch, start tripping now, I'm blue. Make a man.